Hello everybody. I have something special to show you. I was looking through my wardrobe the other day and I found a story that is very old that used to be my favourite story when I was a kid and it's not just one story, it's quite a few and this book is called My Naughty Little Sister. Now I'm a little sister, I have an older brother and I used to be a little bit naughty sometimes and I want you to think, do you have a naughty sister or a naughty brother? Now, I've decided to choose a story because there's quite a few stories in here called My Naughty Little Sister Goes to School and I thought I'd read this because we're all missing school a little bit so I'm going to read this for you and I want you to think about times at school that you've followed the rules, not like the naughty little sister in the book. One day, when I was a little girl, my mother had a letter from my granny to say that she was ill in bed and would mother come over for a day to see her. So, my mother wrote a letter to my school teacher to ask if my little sister could come to school with me the next day as granny was ill. My teacher said, Yes, she can come if she will be good. And wasn't my funny little sister pleased? Do you know what she did? She found an old case belonging to my father and she put in it all the things she thought she would want for the school next day. She put in a pencil and rubber and some crayons and some storybooks and an apple and a matchbox and Rosie Primrose, who was her doll. Then she went to bed very quickly, like a good girl. She didn't splash about in the bath, or scream when her hair was done, or grumble about her supper, or say her prayers naughtily, or worry and worry for lots of stories in bed. No, she shut her eyes quickly, so as to go to sleep and make tomorrow come as soon as soon. She sounds like she's very excited to start school. That's what the sensible child did. And in the morning, she got up early and she dressed herself. Yes, even the buttons and her socks. To show the teacher how nicely she could do it. Then, while our mother was getting the breakfast ready, she went out into the garden and she picked a nice bunch of flowers out of her own garden for the teacher. So, for once in a while, she was my good little sister. Well now, when my little sister got to school, she was still being very good. She said, good morning to everyone. And she came nicely into school and because she looked so good and special, the teacher said she could sit by me all day. So my little sister sat down right next to me and stared and stared at all the other children in the room. And when she saw them opening their bags and cases and getting out their books and pencil boxes, she opened her case and took out all her things too. She took out the pencil and the rubber and the crayons and the storybooks but she left the apple and the matchbox and rosy primrose in the case because she wanted them for playtime. When school started, my little sister stood up very straight to sing the school hymns and she shut her eyes very tight for the school prayers. And then she sat down as good as good, nice and straight like the teacher told her to. Then, the teacher called all the children's names and when each child's name was called, the child said, present. My naughty little sister was very surprised and when my name was called, I said, present too. But the teacher didn't call my little sister's name because she wasn't a real school child. And do you know what my naughty little sister did? She forgot to be a good child and she started to shout, I want my present! I want a present! 
wasn't she silly? And there is a picture of my naughty little sister and the teachers having the register. But after that, my little sister was very good again and the teacher let her play with some plasticine. My little sister made a red basket with the plasticine and the teacher said it was very good and put it on the mantelpiece for everyone to see. Then our teacher read us a story and my little sister was very interested. And when our teacher asked questions about the story and all the children put their hands up, my naughty little sister put her hand up as well. And all the children laughed. But our teacher said they mustn't laugh. And she asked my little sister a real big child's question about the story. And my little sister gave the right answer. Then our teacher said, as my little sister was such a clever child, she could have 10 out of 10. You know, 10 out of 10 is a very big thing to have at school. So our teacher wrote 10 out of 10 on a piece of paper for my little sister and put it on the mantelpiece for her with the plasticine basket. And my little sister was a very proud child. When dinner time came, our teacher let my little sister sit with her and my little sister was so good that the teacher said all the other children should try to be like her. Wasn't she behaving well? In the afternoon, we all drew pictures with our crayons and my little sister drew a picture with her crayons. She was very pleased to think she had brought her own crayons to school. I drew a little house and a tree and a pond and some little people. But do you know what my naughty little sister drew? She drew the teacher and all the school children. Yes, all of them in the class. The teacher was very pleased to see such a lovely drawing because my little sister had not forgotten anything. She had even put in her plasticine basket and her 10 out of 10 writing. So teacher said the drawing must go on the mantelpiece with the other clever things. My little sister drew in her drawing, very small next to the plasticine basket. And then the picture was put up for everyone to see. Then we all went out into the playground and did drill. And my little sister did drill as well. And she stood so straight and put her arm so nicely that teacher let her do it in front of the class. So you see, she was being a very good child. When we went back into school though, and did reading, my little sister got very quiet and very still. And do you know what happened? She fell fast asleep in, on the desk. She slept and slept right until our mother came to fetch us home. And because she had been so good and no trouble, our teacher let her take home the lovely drawing and the plasticine basket and the 10 out of 10 paper. And here is my naughty little sister sleeping on the table because school is so tiring. And that is the end of our story. I hope you liked it and I can't wait to see your faces soon.